Hey, what's going on? Uh, Race Craze here with another die cast review. This one here is the 2017 Martin Truex Jr. Bass Pro Shops Toyota Camry. Um, later released uh, from Lionel because it's actually got two winter stickers on it. Um, so it wasn't obviously the first scheme run of the year or anything like that. Uh, we'll start here with the box. We'll just kind of wheel you off to the side here. Um, focus in here, camera. There you go. 685 total made, uh, 78 Bass Pro Trekker boats, 2017 Camry. Standard 2017 box, uh, it's got the artwork there, up and down the side, standard finish, clear window. Not my favorite box uh, as far as the clear window style box, but, you know, it is what it is. They're not going to change it. Uh, easier so you can see what you're getting. So, uh, Martin Truex Jr., logo's all over the place, um, you know, all the standard stuff there. So, on to the diecast, the best part, the whole reason I do videos. It's not for boxes, I promise. Uh, so, down the left side, uh, it's very clean. I, I just did the um, the race win from Las Vegas, and it's got the confetti and the dirt on it, and this one just, oh, crisp, clean, clear, very shined up, good-looking car. 78, the camo looks great. The You know, everything looks good on this. The ethanol ring. Uh, really, really, really good. Uh, Monster Energy banner uh, on the front, and then the Toyota nose, which has that little kick to it. A um, couple spots, you can kind of see it there. But it kind of goes out. Uh, kind of like that nose bomb um, diecast one, though. Um, down the right side, a lot of orange, a little bit of camo on the bottom. Tracker boats, furniture row. On the back here, tracker boats, short spoiler. Um, can I even get that? There we go. Open up that back there. Uh, red fuel cell. Clear uh, silver tube there um, for that. Truex Jr. on the back window banner. Um, two winter stickers uh, up there on the name rail. So that's kind of a uh, little bit of a different different thing. I think this is the first, it might be my first die cast that's not a race one with winter stickers on it. Maybe one of the Kyle Busch ones, but I mean some of the championship ones, they always have the race wins for that year on there, so it's going to have all eight all eight stickers mounted on it for 2017 when I get this. Not this one, but it'll be the, the Furniture Row version. Um, really clean looking car. This car looks great. Um, it's surprisingly difficult to find. I, I didn't think it would be this bad, but it's, I mean, this car is hard to find. On eBay, I saw these things at like 90, and I was kind of surprised. So when I got to a local dealer and was able to actually pick it up and um, get it for the normal, you know, 65, that was really nice because these... Uh, for some reason, have gone way up. I'm not sure if it's because people are making customs of the Kansas win that they refuse to make or pull. I don't know why they didn't pull it. The yeah, logic of Lionel sometimes cease, it never ceases to amaze me what they use because it's it's not like it's that bad. But when they say that because a driver's last one didn't pull well, we don't want to even pull the next one. Well, sometimes it's track dependent. I go to Kansas races, so I get every Kansas race. I don't care who the winner is. So when you pull, when you don't pull it, I can't put a pre-order in and say that, yeah, I would have gotten this one. I didn't want the other one anyway. You know, so that is frustrating a little bit because it's like, okay, the the race wins are more than just driver fans. A lot of people that get race wins, it's dependent on the race itself, how it went, and also the um, the crowd. I mean, Martinsville, the Kyle Busch one got pulled because there was such a cry out for it because it was a great race. I mean, Chase Elliott getting taken out was kind of a <laughs> dumpy situation, Hit dump. But yeah, um, you know, they didn't want to pull it because, yeah, his Dover one didn't pull well. Well, yeah, but the Martinsville fans, people that go to Martinsville to see that race, they want Kyle Busch's race win because they were at the race. It's kind of a, a, a cool thing that people like to do. So, yeah, some tracks don't pull well, but that doesn't mean that certain, you know, if a driver doesn't pull well at a certain track, that doesn't mean they're not going to pull well at another track. They might still be able to make enough. But to not even pull it is, that's the part that's frustrating because I know that Kansas one probably would have been made because there were a lot of fans from Kansas like to get the cars there. Harvick won there last year. I was there. I got that one. I don't have any of Harvick's other 2016 wins. I think I got Bristol later, but I didn't I didn't pre-order it, so it's like, you know, that's why. It's because I like Kansas. But anyway, I think that might be one of the reasons it's getting rare. So before I ramble too much, um, yeah, really nice car, really clean. I would highly recommend it because again, it's it's getting hard to find these these things are starting to pop off eBay for more than almost a hundred bucks or at a hundred bucks. Um, <laughs> the uh, the amazing engine detail of the of these new ones. Look at that, a plastic a plastic box for a motor. 
Yeah, okay. Well, someday. Maybe we'll get our engine detail back. Probably not. Sweat chops are... <laughs> I'm guessing how they were making them before, so they may have been... They may have tried to clean that up a little bit, which is unfortunately not good for us. Good for the world, not good for diecast. You know. Gain some, you lose some. But, uh, DIN 405, overall, great car. Uh, highly recommend picking it up. So, um... This has been Race Grace, and we'll see you in the next video.